Hi friends, Miss Sally here from Learn to Grow. I'm standing right here next to one of our Scarlet Runner bean trellis. We're going to be harvesting some young pods as well as some mature pods that are now tan or brown and are ready to be saved for seeds or you can even save the beans to cook for later. First, let me tell you more about the Scarlet Runner beans. These originated from South America. So they are native to Central and South America but of course they've been propagated all over the world and they do really well here in the Pacific Northwest, somewhat a moderate cooler climate. Now if the temperatures get up really high above 85 degrees, the beautiful red flowers tend to fall off and we had an unusually hot summer, probably not as hot as some places but we were at above 85 to 95 degrees and I noticed in the middle of summer uh, the flowers fell off and they didn't really produce as much until towards the end of the summer as it tapered off. So now um, on the other trellis I'll show you there's a lot of red flowers in there and hopefully we'll be getting more beans before the, the first day of frost hits. The young pods like these ones here are great to eat raw. They're actually really sweet. This is the sweetest bean pod that you'll ever taste and also crunchy. Mm. So delicious. So it's perfect to eat raw. Now, if the pods get bigger than three to five inches, they usually get pretty tough and stringy. So these are better for cooking and or shelling beans. Here's a good example of a more mature pod and as you can see the uh, beans are filling out the pods so you can use this as shelling beans and still eat them but you'll have to cook them for at least 20 to 30 minutes. And the reason why these beans contain a protein uh, called lectin which is also in kidney beans and other beans and if you don't cook your beans it could be toxic um, and cause upset stomach um, so you want to make sure you cook these beans first before consuming. You can see so they're bright pink. Aren't those gorgeous? We're gonna go to the other trellis where it's got more flowers and more beans. It's also in full sun so it's doing much better. I've got this one here in um, part sun so it takes it gets about four maybe five hours of sun a day. I think they do better in full sun and also plant them in early spring so once the soil is workable and temperatures of the ground is about 60 degrees 65 degrees that should be warm enough for the beans to sprout so around May here in the Pacific Northwest and by midsummer and late summer throughout fall it should be producing more flowers and pods for you so I'm back here towards the south end of the garden and there are some more of these beautiful scarlet red flowers. There's actually a whole bunch more on that side, but it's a little too bright, so I'll put the camera there in a moment. Right, let's get more of these dried pods. Oh, here's a good one. So here's a nice size one. These get up to over 12 inches long. These ones have more of a lilac um, speckle. These beans remind me of lima beans, uh, the texture and the flavor. I like to put them in bean salads as well as throwing them in some of my stir-fried kale with garlic. It's really good. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other recipes you can use them for. Check out this one. It's I think at least a foot long. This, these are good for shelling beans I can cook today. And the beans are a little bigger and they're the pink ones. Here's more flowers. It's a little bright, but there's a whole bunch of the beautiful flowers. These flowers attract hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies. So we've been seeing a lot of hummingbirds this summer. The Scarlet Runner bean is a beautiful ornamental plant that you can add to your garden. Check out this bunch of pods. There are big ones too. It's producing much better than it did during the summer. It's almost fall since the weather has cooled off it looks like it's still going to be producing for a few more weeks here's our scarlet runner bean harvest look how vibrant and gorgeous those colors are so the pink ones they're not fully mature so they're you know great for shelling beans and you can cook them right away and as they dry they turn darker some of them some of them have more lilac than black 
these uh, the dried ones or the mature ones in the tan pods can be saved for seeds or you can store them to cook for later. It's a little bright out today, trying to stay here in the shade. But thank you so much for joining me today in the garden. I hope that you found this video helpful and enjoyed it as well. Hopefully I'll get an abundance of Scarlet Runner beans so that way I can do another seed giveaway. I think I gave some away almost a year and a half ago, maybe going in two years now. So we'll see how much I harvest this fall and I'll keep you guys posted. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and happy gardening.